Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with meteorologist Marissa Walzen. It was a chilly start this morning on only three degrees above freezing. We started off at 35 degrees in Eugene this afternoon. 48 degrees was our high and that is 10 degrees below where we should be for this time of year. So an overall chilly day. Also plenty of clouds out there. Highs across the rest of the area. Everyone beating Eugene getting up to 52 in Corvallis, 54 in both Newport and North Bend, 55 in Roseburg and even 50 degrees in Bend this afternoon. Don't worry temperatures will eventually climb especially once we get into Wednesday looking at a warm up and also some more sunshine. But here's a look at what we are looking at right now. 36 in Sun River. Ben, you're at 41 degrees. Along I-5, 48 in both Corvallis and Eugene and even into Cottage Grove right now. 51 though in Roseburg. Along the coast looking at 46 both North Bend and Florence. A degree cooler in Newport. We are watching showers still pushing across the area. Plenty of clouds out there as well. And once again, not all of these showers actually making it down to the ground. Maybe only even producing just a few light drops of rain on your windshield with a few of these showers once again not too impressive most of the heavy rain and snow is to our south it's all part of this big low pressure system here you can pick up that counterclockwise rotation nice spiral there the center of the low actually just to our west but most of the heavy rain is staying into california there you can see the yellows and reds indicating very heavy rainfall changing over to some snow showers uh, into the sierras they're looking at a good amount of snow late in the season so hopefully good for those who want to get out to do some skiing and snowboarding but for us we are also looking at some snow about three days Eight inches expected at the ski resorts as we head into tonight. One to three inches over the passes. So if you do have to have an early morning commute tomorrow heading over the passes, make sure you are prepared for some snow on the surfaces. And we do have even more snow in store over the week ahead for the Cascades. Along the coast, though, it'll be rain showers in the afternoon, especially temperatures will be into the low 50s. For those in the Amqua Basin looking at mostly cloudy skies, rain showers as well into the afternoon, temperatures into the mid 50s, uh, much like what you saw today. Cascades looking at snow showers above 3,500 feet, below 3,500 feet, rain showers. So in the foothills, you'll see rain. Looking at another inch of snow possible throughout the day tomorrow above 3,500 feet. Central Oregon, you're looking mainly looking at snow showers early, transitioning to rain showers late in the day as those temperatures get back into the mid to upper 40s. And for the Willamette Valley, we'll see slightly warmer temperatures into the low 50s, mostly cloudy skies, and then also going to see a few showers pop up, especially the second half of the day. Here's a look at a seven-day forecast. We're looking at partly sunny skies on Wednesday temperatures into the mid 50s showers though bring move back on in both Thursday and Friday and then even more as we head into this weekend with a pretty good storm but so far next week models are indicating that we could begin to see high pressure build and when we talk about high pressure that means sunshine and warmer temperatures but for now we're still dealing with wet weather so in the Amcor Basin Tuesday looking at some showers fog Wednesday morning sunshine though as we get into the afternoon both Thursday and Friday looking at some showers continuing through the weekend for those in the Cascades snow showers for today or excuse me for tomorrow partly sunny skies on Wednesday then more snow showers move in above 4,000 feet for both Thursday and Friday for those in the Lambert Valley looking at showers for today fog tomorrow or excuse me showers for tomorrow fog to Wednesday morning partly sunny skies for the afternoon then showers continuing as we head into Thursday and Friday so yes kind of active unstable pattern for this week but so far next week should be fairly nice well, we'll deserve it after this week. Boy, it's kind of yes. up and down. Yeah, it, just the last two days just been so, so soggy. So any dry weather would be very nice to yes. see. Yep, yep. Thanks, Marissa. No problem.